Yeah, cause I got it like that Flow so smooth like I got it on tap Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night While I'm on my yingling, while I'm drinking Bud Light uh. Hey, yeah. what is spawn people? My name is Blaine Page and welcome to my YGO Pro 2 tutorial video on how to change your images in your textures folder to a different kind of image. So first off, if you guys would actually like to play YGO Pro 2 and actually don't have it yet and are watching this video anyways, a uh, link to that download will, will be at the very top of my description box. So go there, download the game, and come back to this video and watch the rest of this video on how to change your images in your textures folder to a different kind of image. So with that being done, we're now going to go and take a look at our textures folder right now. So you guys will want to open up your YGO Pro folder right here. Then you guys will want to scroll down to your textures folder right here. And then we're going to go over the folder common, which has your desktop image for YGO Pro, which is this one, as you guys can see, which if you guys, if I just do that, you guys can clearly see it right there. And then we're also going to go over the folder, which says dual, which has a bunch of your dueling icons right here. We're not going to go over the UI folder because this has a lot of images that you guys probably don't want to mess around with. It might confuse the game or it might confuse you. And we're not just going to mess with this folder. I, I really don't want you guys to really mess around with this folder because it could indeed mess you up or mess the game up or whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're also not going to go over the, the deck folder because honestly, I don't know what kind of image you guys would want to replace this with. It's for your deck uh, edit screen. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go over the uh, common and the dual folder. First off, we're going to go over the dual folder. So essentially, you guys will want to get an image and then rename it and then replace the file in this folder. So first off, we're going to get ourselves a new card sleeve, which is, you know, the game gives us. So we're going to replace that image with a different one. So what you guys will want to do is go to Google Images and look up YGO Pro or Yu-Gi-Oh card sleeves. I looked up uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Alexis card sleeve because she is bae. So what you guys want to do is go find a card sleeve that you guys like and then save it to your computer. You guys will want to save it as me. So once you guys do that, it will then be on your guys' desktop. What you guys will want to do is grab this file right here and then drag it into this folder right here. You guys will then want to drag this file into this folder. You guys will then want to replace the file in destination with the file that you guys just saved. You guys now have a new card sleeve basically for the game. If you guys want to test this out, you guys will want to close your game. You guys will then want to reopen the game. So I have to go and launch the game real quick. Let it load up. And then an easy way just to check if it worked or not is to just watch a replay. And as you guys see, we now have new part seats in the game. All right, so it's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, we're now going to change the opponent's card sleeves to a different kind of card sleeve. So you guys will just want to go again to Google Images and look up Yu-Gi-Oh card sleeves or YGO Pro card sleeves. You guys will then want to save this image to your, uh, your computer. You guys will want to name it opponent. You guys will then want to drag this file into the folder like we did previously for your card sleeves. You guys will then again want to replace the file end destination. And there you go. Your opponent now has a new kind of card sleeve, which for me is a wing dragon of raw. All right. We're now going to go over the negation symbol for Yu-Gi-Oh, which is this one right here. You guys can look up any image you guys want. Uh, but for me, I am going to use the Sasuke Uchiha Sharingan as my negation symbol just because I like it. So you guys will want to name it negated and then save it to your guys' desktop. You guys will then want to drag this file into the folder and replace the file in destination. You guys now have a new negation icon for when you guys duel. 
for whatever reason, they do not have an activation icon, whereas in the old YGO Pro and Dev Pro game, uh, they had that. But for this one, they don't have it, so I don't know what to tell you guys about that. I had like a spinning Karibo as my activation icon, uh, but as you guys can clearly see, we do not have that. Even if I click in like the raw folder or whatnot, there's nothing there, or even in the health bar folder, there's no activation symbol. So I don't know what to tell you guys about that, but we can, however, change everything else in this folder. I wouldn't, however, mess with the star icons because, well, obviously, I don't know what you guys want to change them. But, uh, yeah, I just wouldn't mess with those unless you guys really want to. But for me, I'm not going to change those to a different kind of image because I honestly don't know what I would want to change them to. We are now, however, going to go over the field icon, which is this one. What you guys want to do, again, is go to Google Images and look up YGO Pro Field. You guys will find a list of fields that you guys can use. Make sure they are transparent or else they will not work, meaning that its background is basically see-through. You guys will not want like a white background. But yeah, they have a bunch of different field icons that you guys can use, as you guys can clearly see. But I'm going to use this one that I found at the bottom, if I can find it. All right, guys, and looks like I have found it. So now we're going to save this file to our desktop and naming it field. All right, now that we have that saved, we can now transfer that file to this folder and replacing the file as so. All right, guys, and last but not least, we're going to change our tech icon here to a different kind. Again, just go to Google Images and search up a, uh, a YGO Pro attack icon, and it should pop up with, you know, quite a lot of them. But right here, I'm going to change it to the Master Sword because, you know, Zelda is bay. All right. <laughs> okay, all right, so we're going to rename this attack, and we're just going to put it onto our desktop. Okay, and now we're just going to put it in this folder and again, just replace the file and destination and bam, we now have a bunch of new things that we can use on a YGO Pro 2. So to test them all out, we're just gonna head on over to YGO Pro 2.exe, you know, the game. And we're just gonna open it up and we're now just gonna look at everything in the replay. Well, we can't really look at the attack icon, um, but I can guarantee you that it is uh, definitely different. All right, so we're going to just open this up and watch this. And as you guys can see, we now have a new field. We also have new card sleeves for us. And then our opponent's card sleeves are also changed. So it's pretty cool, isn't it, guys? All right, let's exit out of this real quick. All right, guys. And uh, last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how to change your wallpaper for uh, YGO Pro 2. So right now it's the space background, but if you guys want to change it to something else, you guys can easily just go to Google Images and look up a wallpaper of your choice. And I believe you guys just have to name it Desk, which stands for Desktop. All right, guys, and for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using this picture of Vegito right here. All right, so what you guys just want to do is name it Desk, send it to your desktop, and then what you guys just want to do is put it in this folder and replace the file in destination, and bam, we should now have a brand new wallpaper or desktop for our YGO Pro 2 or background. So there's Vegito popping up like an OG and bam we now basically just have a new background and it's the same for the deck edit mode as well if I just show you guys that it is. And it's the same for dueling backgrounds as well. On YGO Pro 1 I showed you guys how to get a .gif file as your background but for this I don't really know if you guys can do that but I can definitely try that out and show it to you guys in a new video if it does work out. Uh, but currently, uh, I think this is as much as we can really do. But yeah, this is basically how you guys can change all of your pictures 
in YGO Pro 2 to a different kind of image or icon. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And again, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, just post them down in the comment section down below and I'll get to you guys as soon as I can. So thank you guys for watching. Again, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And yeah, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Adios.